Hello, you're watching Sports Birdie, the network dedicated to bringing you the latest and greatest in sports tweets. My name is Paul, and you've tuned into the eighth edition, that's right, numero ocho, of This Week in Ocho Cinco. This program is all about covering the best and most interesting tweets that came out from Chad Johnson during the week of July 9th through July 16th. And Chad was indeed a madman because he tweeted out 626 new things but interestingly enough, only gained 15,024 new followers. Now that may seem like a lot, but that's actually down from his average of 20 plus new followers per week. But let's check it out because the man had some great content this week. Starting out, he has a, a tweet here. He says, we out here turned up in the sand. He is working out on South Beach and he's got some NFL players with him. Uh, there you can see his Ocho Cinco. Uh, he's got Wes Carroll, an aspiring NFL player. Uh, used to play for Florida International University. Uh, also, Anthony Gaynor, cornerback for the Tampa Bay Bucks, And Antonio Brown, the wide receiver for the Steelers. So I like this. But, you know, the poor white guy, the poor quarterback in the back, he's the only guy with his shirt on, right? So I don't know. Is Wes has to get his six-pack in shape or what the deal is. But here's a picture of Wes uh, tossing some footballs to the crew. And you can see they're running in sand. This kind of worries me a little bit because I remember some player – uh, playing beach football a few years ago, maybe like six years ago, and like tearing an ACL. But apparently this is a good training method. And you got to wonder, who's the little man in the foreground? Uh, looks like he's you know training to be a quarterback uh, of the future, I guess. All right, next one. Chad tweets out, Fellas, please follow CP Star Rider. She's single, and I'm willing to pay for travel and first date. One of you effers, sweep her off her feet. So I'm thinking, right... Chad puts us out. This is going to be like some 300-pound lady that's, you know, maybe not looking the finest these days. But check this out. Very beautiful lady. And this is actually, I guess, one of the ghostwriters or co-writers for Evelyn Lozada's novel. I shouldn't say novel. Uh, uh, book that she just put out. And so she helped Evelyn put it all together. So why this lady has trouble finding dates, I don't know. But Chad is playing matchmaker indeed. All right. Next tweet, Chad says, why does Evelyn Lozada, his wife now, uh, have two teacup Yorkies, a Maltese, a Pomeranian, and a standard size Yorkie? Got to get out of here. And I don't blame the guy. Look at this. Evelyn may be fine, but this has got to be a hot mess all over the house, barking. You see you got doggy gates up, you know, dogs jumping on you. I don't know. I love dogs, but dang, five of them? I mean, you know, got to slow that down a little bit. All right. But apparently Chad is still getting along well with Evelyn because he, he tweets out here, feeling violated this morning. I'm like, wow, what happened? He said, went to bed comfortable in my pajamas and I'm waking up with the bottoms off. Eve didn't even ask. So what a rough life, huh? Poor baby, this Ocho Senko. He's just getting taken advantage. I'm, I guess, you know, for speaking the rest of the males, I guess we're all just glad that we're not his, in his position uh, having those bottoms removed like that. All right, moving on. Next one, uh, Evelyn tweets out to Chad, says... Excited about our shoot today for the Ev and Ocho show. The set is fire. And uh, this sounds real exciting, right? I got to give cred, uh, Chad credit here because he mans up. He says, with Devon Best and Ryan Tannehill, going to be late. So, of course, that's one of his fellow wide receivers for the Dolphins as well as one of the quarterbacks. So at least you see where Chad's priorities are. All right. Now, Chad, ever much the philosopher, tweets out here, if a number two pencil is the most preferred pencil, why is it still considered number two? Just thinking. Interesting. All right, next one. Rolling in the Hood is actually Chad's little brother. Lives down in Miami with him. You can see his picture up there in the right-hand corner. He says, seems people have a hard time saying uh, nice, positive, uplifting things to each other. It's always something bad, right? So how deep is this? And uh, Chad just has, uh, I guess, four letters for him. S-T-F-U, which means shut the F up. So he's <laughs> just keeping it real with his brother. All right, and interesting news, you heard the tweet earlier we put about Chad getting taken advantage of with his pajama bottoms. Here he says, well, I almost had a threesome last night. He says, all I needed was one more person. Well, that's the issue every night. And you know, hey, at least the guy is doing better than some, right? For some people, there are two people short of a threesome. So Chad's at least doing pretty good. All right, now we've got a warning here, a big humble alert for you. Now, it is very, very seldom that in this show we cover any tweets with Chad being humble, because that just really doesn't happen. But we found one, and we just want to put you on notice that this is coming, so you can prepare yourself. We had a Twitter follower ask Chad, and says, what's your thought if someone says Randy Moss or Terrell Owens is way better than you? 
And Chad says, I'm good, but them effers are epic. And I can't believe this. So if you, if you thought that Chad would never downplay himself, never be humble, here is case in point, uh, reality right in front of our face. All right, next one, Chad tweets out a picture here. He says, I was taught to love all. And check this out. He's sporting the hat that says, I love the haters. But <laughs> look at this hat. Now, does this not look like a hat that you get the flea market or the swap meet or something, right? Got the big embroidered heart on it. So I, I like the saying, but man, that looks like one of those $3.99 hats. All right, moving on. This actually became Chad's avatar for the week. He says, another solid seven rounds in the book, off to L.A. And he's got a picture of himself here sparring on the right-hand side. Doesn't say who that is in the left, but I like Chad. He's got the Miami uh, Dolphins uh, shirt on and uh, some Rocky Balboa-style American flag headgear. So getting some gym work in. All right. Now, Chad is also a big fan of David's Cafe in Miami. He's always there, tweeting pictures from there. And uh, so I was impressed with this. Apparently, someone is raising the rent on David's Cafe, and Chad is trying to come to the rescue here. He says, anyone know how to get in touch with David Edelstein? Tell him not to raise David's Cafe rent to 60 k a month. They're closing now. Now, I haven't been to David's Cafe, but if you could afford to pay 60 k in rent a month, that has got to be some expensive food. So hats off to Chad for trying to look out for a small business. All right. And Chad, ever being the conservative kind of spendthrift that he is, he tweets out here, I'm on the 210 Metro bus headed down Crenshaw, sightseeing today, getting ready to squab some fools up. This is my training for today. And so, of course, this is when Chad was going out to L.A. to do training. And uh, the next tweet that comes out from him shortly thereafter says, I'm at the Slauson Swap Meet looking for a fade with the homies. And here are the homies. Now, look at this. None of these guys are smiling in this picture, right? All trying to be hard. We're from Crenshaw. We're from Slauson Park. Okay, whatever, right? But when you look at these guys, the guy on the left got a, like a, a polo on, right? The guy in the front... Yeah, I don't know, kind of like a little do-rag, right? Okay, whatever. But look at the guy in the back. I mean, this guy looks like 135 pounds, maybe, you know, including his sunglasses on his head. And uh, that tank top looks like it came out of the Junior Mist store. So these guys do not intimidate me. But I'll tell you what, who it does intimidate me? Here, Chad says, just see my homeboy, Strong Fitness, at Simply Wholesome. We go back since 97 when I lived in L.A. And look at this. Now, this is somebody in the hood you need to be afraid of right here. This is a one-man wrecking crew. All right, and the last tweet for the show, I thought this was hilarious. Uh, one of Chad's followers, Logan Berger, asked him, says, Ocho Senko, if you could be one white person, who would it be? I thought, well, maybe it's Bill Clinton, right? Or maybe, uh, you know, some other famous intellectual. Oh, Chad's person, Charlie Sheen. So I thought about this, and can you imagine the Armageddon, the chaos that would happen if Chad was actually walking in Charlie Sheen's shoes? And so here we have a little picture, if you could picture... Uh, Chad on the set of Two and a Half Men. This is what it would look like. We couldn't put the tiger blood in, but we were trying to get that in. But a crazy thought, and I think we will leave it at, at that. So that wraps up episode number eight of This Week in Ocho Cinco. Hope you enjoyed the, the show, and stay watching SportsBirdie.com. Thanks much.